Well, the White House making a major announcement on childhood cancer and artificial intelligence. The National Institute of Health will, institu will invest $50 million in this project. So for more details on how that will be done, what that looks like, we are joined live now by NIH Director Jay Bhattacharya. Jay, thank you for being with us. I want to start with how this executive order will translate right now to the fight against childhood can cancer. What can you tell families who are dealing with that? So at the NIH, at the National Institute of Health, we're, we are investing $50 million additional dollars on the Childhood Data Initiative that President Trump started in 2019. The goal of the initiative is to apply AI methods to data that we've collected on molecular signatures of cancer so that we can learn how better to treat patients in, you know, who are to come. Um, it's a huge initiative, doubling our investment immediately, and uh, we're going to look for ways to, to keep investing. This is uh, one of the, the, the happiest things I've had to do as NIH director. I'm just delighted that we can, uh, we can invest in, in, uh, in science for improving the, the lives of uh, little kids with cancer. Would this change how research into cancer will be done moving forward? And how does it build on uh, the executive order that President Trump signed during this first term in 2018, the STAR Act? Yeah, so that, uh, that STAR Act was, was instrumental in get, uh, allowing us to develop data, collect uh, molecular information, proteomics information, all, the, all these like, the molecular signatures of childhood cancers, which are often very rare. Um, what this act will do, what this, uh, with, uh, what this executive order will do, will allow us to invest in artificial intelligence to, to really analyze the data in a way that will just turbocharge treatments for patients with cancer. Uh, uh, we, you know, the key thing is to learn from those cancers that have come before, see what worked, and then learn lessons for the future. That's what this new act, uh, this new executive order will do. Uh, and we're, we're starting immediately. We're already investing $50 million additional, uh, doubling our investments uh, that the STAR Act uh, did for the CD CCDI, this uh, the Childhood Cancer Data Initiative. So I don't have to tell you, AI is a mixed bag, and people hear about artificial intelligence and some people are really worried about it. So how will AI work and still be able to keep patients' privacy and sensitive medical data secure, not to mention avoid things like AI hallucinations and other concerns that come up when people rely on artificial intelligence? Yeah, so first, patient privacy uh, in the data, protection of uh, patient privacy rights is, is central to what we do. I mean, patients trust us because we, they know that the data they share with the researchers will not help, uh, be, be violated. Um, and so we're just, we're just going to continue to do that, and we'll build on that. Uh, as far as AI hallucinations, that's what our science is about. This isn't just chat GPT. This is scientific work to see how can we can use the, the best technology to analyze the data in a way that improves the health outcomes for people. And I just have one more question for you. Um, you know, President Trump's budget request proposes an almost 37% cut to the National Cancer Institute to the tune of over $2 billion. The American Cancer Society Cancer Action Network has cautioned that those proposed cuts would set this nation back dramatically in our ability to reduce death and suffering. So how does that align with what the administration is doing with this new program? Well, first, uh, there's been no cut. Uh, in 2025, we're going to spend the full allocation for uh, the, the NCI, the National Cancer Institute. Um, uh, and President Trump, you can see his commitment to childhood cancer for cancer and cancer more generally in this executive order. This is a, this is a topic that's close to his heart. Uh, every conversation I've had with him, he's told me how, how much he cares about research in this country. His goal is that we will be the leading nation in the world in biomedicine. Um, you know, budget discussions come and go. What I've seen is pretty widespread support for continuing uh, investment in research for childhood cancer, for all kinds of cancer. Uh, we're we're going to uh, continue to do that and move forward as we move forward. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Dr. Jay Bhattacharya. We thank you for being with us and joining us here on Scripps News.